Breathe in. Swim in the cosmic vibration of everything around you. Find stillness in it and listen. wonderful friends. This class today is called The Path of Yoga, and it's going to really follow a beautiful structure where we build and prepare our body to master a peak pose called the full wheel. It's a really beautiful heart opening posture, and we're going to go through different variations of asanas to really get your body open or your heart open and ready to really challenge yourself with this incredible asana. You won't need any props for yourself. However, if you want a little bit more cushion, like a blanket or something for some of the grounded poses, then feel free to grab that. Otherwise, let's get started. Today's practice is a sample class from our full free program, 31 Days of Yoga. To access all of the 31 days for free, go to bohobeautiful.life slash 31 days. All right, my beautiful friends, let's start today in child's pose. We're going to come to the very back of our mat. Bring your feet together, knees together, and just round yourself over top of your legs. Let's keep our arms at our side today. I want you to bring your forehead down to the ground and start to just breathe gently as we rock a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Just really feeling into the body, checking in with how your body is feeling today there's any little aches or tensions happening how are you doing within your mind what are the aches and tensions in the mind just bring yourself into complete total awareness without any judgment without any expectations just simply be with all that you have to carry today go ahead and take another deep breath in as you exhale Slowly begin to bring your arms forward. Reaching forward towards the front of your mat, feeling this wonderful stretch through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Now begin to slowly walk your fingers to the front of your mat. And do this slowly because as you begin to move in this very slow motion, you're going to start to feel different parts of your back starting to feel a deeper stretch. So as you begin to bring your weight forward, you'll notice your hips come up and walk yourself until your hips become directly over top of the knees. And this is going to be a perfect way to begin to come down into our puppy pose. So drop the shoulders as far as you can. Your elbows can stay grounded. Your forehead rests on top of your mat. And just allow yourself to release. We're feeling this really deep opening sensation through the upper back, through the shoulders, through the heart allowing yourself to feel closer to the earth. If you bring your head up high, meaning with your chin towards the ground, you're going to feel even more of an intensity here. So if that's too much, keep your forehead down. Good. Let's just take three more deep breaths here, really allowing yourself to open. Exhale. And again, deep breath. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Slowly begin to continue the transition of the body weight forward, but now bring your weight onto your elbows. Begin to come forward and come forward until your belly and your hips drop all the way down. Bring into our Sphinx pose dropping the shoulders down away from the ears elongating through the neck and just looking up feeling this grounding of your elbows of your hip bones of your thighs of your knees and then press into the elbows so you open through that heart open through the chest close your eyes to just keep the awareness internal 
deep breath in, exhale out. One more in, inhale, exhale. Now, as you start to drop down, we're going to go into a really nice opening of your shoulders. So how that's going to work, first, you're going to take your right arm and just pull it out and keep it bent at a 45 degree angle. Then come all the way down and just place your arm right down. From here, I want you to bend your opposite knee, your left knee, ground your left hand onto the floor and start to push into the left hand as you open yourself onto your right hip and then see if your left toes can touch the floor. And then rest your right ear on the floor and just hold this position. So you should start to really feel this through your pectoral muscles, in your chest, in your shoulders, in your arm. And if you don't feel a stretch, your elbow, your right elbow might be a little too low. So just play with it. Maybe bring your fingers a little bit forward. And as you reposition that arm, you should start to feel a stretch. So play with it a little bit because of course, I can't see you physically where you are right now in home. I can't adjust you. So you have to do the adjustment based on how it feels on your body. So make sure that where you are here, you're feeling that opening through the chest, through the pec. Close your eyes and just take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome, guys. Come back to center. Returning back and just switching to the other side. So come back down. Now your left arm bends to 45. Drop the elbow. Right hand is just grounded. Now bend your opposite knee, so your right knee, and start to push into your right hand as you open. Right onto your side. Lower your left ear. Ground your right foot. Let's hold it here. Open and open and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Just finding your breath. And again, searching for that wonderful sensation of release. Opening in the pectoral muscle. In your left shoulder. Opening through that heart, through the chest cavity. Beautiful. Now slowly from here, start to come back down. So now we transition back over to that center line, bringing both of your arms next to the side of your body. And from here, let's push into the hands, lift the chest, and start to lift even higher until you can come up into a full upward facing dog. Feeling that opening, lift your knees off the mat, and then exhale, lift up and release into downward facing dog. Now your shoulders should feel really good and open here. So let's work a little bit on the feet. So bend your knees, maybe walk it out on one spot, whatever feels good in this position. And then just allow yourself to let go. Lengthening here through the upper back. Deep breath in and exhale out. Good. Inhale from here. Let's reach your right leg up towards the sky. Bending your right knee. Exhale. Bring your knee to chest. Just hold it here. And then inhale. Press away into three-legged dog. Exhale. Bring it into chest for two. Inhale. Press. Exhale, three. Inhale, press. Exhale, four. Inhale, press and extend. Good. Exhale, bend your knee and open through the hip. Just opening into that three-legged dog, feeling that release through the hip flexor a little bit more. Stack your hips. Good. And then slowly come forward with your right leg. Step your right foot to the front of your mat. Drop your left knee down. And let's open into our cactus armed low lunge. So we've done this in our previous days, so this should feel quite 
familiar to you, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Just open up, really open through that chest, through the heart. Deep breath in. Now as you exhale, lift the back knee, extend through the elbows, open, 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 open. And then drop the arms, drop the body, step back into high plank, chaturanga, or drop your knees. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg is going to reach up to the sky. Bend your left knee, bring your left knee to your chest for one. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring your knee to chest for two. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, three. One more time. Exhale, four. Inhale, reach it up. Bend your knee, stacking your hips left on top of your right. Holding this three-legged dog, feeling this opening sensation through the hip flexor. And then come back to center. Knee to chest, drop your left foot down, grounding your right knee, reaching both arms up. Good cactus arms, let's open up. And what I want you to focus on is just bringing your hips forward. So when you bring your hips forward, you're feeling that extra lengthening sensation through your hip flexor, which is really important for us to prepare for the full wheel because we're going to be really opening ourselves through the frontal area of the body. So hold it here, another inhale. Now exhale, lift and open through the elbows, extend your back knee, lift and open, 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 and then release your arms down, step back with your left foot into plank position, flow it out for me, chaturanga, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale here, exhale out, good, let it go, inhale again, and exhale out. Beautiful. Slowly transitioning over to high plank one more time, shoulders above your wrist. And start to lower in a very slow chaturanga all the way down towards the mat and then drop your belly to the mat. We're going to do our bow pose. So first, we're going to do one leg at a time or you can do the full bow twice. So two variations, maybe. You're just going to grab your left ankle like this with your left hand and just pull that heel towards your butt. Or, if you want to go into the full version, grab the other one. Good. From here, take a deep breath in. On your exhalation, you're going to lift your feet up. Lift your chest. Open into a bow. If you're doing a one leg, you're going to reach your opposite arm forward and just lift. Good. Let's hold it here just for another two breaths. Lift up. Open up. Open, open, open. Exhale. Relax and release. Just bring your forehead down, resting on top of your hands like so. We're going to do that one more time. So if you did do one leg, you're just going to switch and do the other side. Or if you did the double leg, go ahead and do that one more time. So if you're doing the single, grab your right ankle. First pull in. If you're doing double, grab the other one. Let's take a deep breath in together. And then as you exhale, lift up. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Try to be careful that your knees don't open. So bring those knees as close together as you can. And then lift up to the sky as you look up. Open, 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 open. Beautiful, you guys. Release down and relax. Awesome. Take an inhale and exhale. Release your hands. Push and press your way up to your knees. And let's just do a quick little counter pose into child's pose, rounding up through the spine. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Slowly rounding over to all fours position. Tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, lift the heels, bend your knees. Go ahead and take two steps or maybe a hop to the front of your mat. Halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Good, bend your knees and slowly make your way down to your mat. Releasing over to your bum. Release the feet in front of you and start to roll vertebra by vertebra all the way down. Really find that control in your core. Then once you make it down, just rest your head. This is where we're going to start preparing 
for our full wheel. Now, my friends, if the full wheel is a little bit too much for you today, too intimidating for you today, don't worry. You can do this version for me, which is a bridge. So the bridge, which is what we can do all together, open up your feet hip width apart, tuck your tailbone, start to lift up. Coming up into a bridge, you're gonna interlace your fingers underneath you, extend through the elbows, and you're just gonna hold it here. That's gonna be your version, and that this is where you wanna go today, beautiful. If you are wanting to try and do a full wheel, you're gonna do exactly this, except now your arms are gonna come up, bend your elbows, bend your wrists, and then plant your hands right onto the mat. From here, ground into the feet, into the hands. So you're gonna push, lift up to your crown of your head, but keep your weight in your hands. And then from here, start to lift. And if you're lifting, then you can walk your hands a little bit closer towards the feet, holding this full wheel, really beautiful opening. Breathe. Good, and now to come out, tuck your chin, bend your elbows first, then ground and place the neck down first, hands down, vertebra by vertebra comes down. Awesome, you guys. Let's do that one more time, all right? If you're feeling this is too much, of course, you can just bring your knees into your chest and hold a little ball position. Otherwise, let's do it again. Either come up to your bridge, lift the hips, or go ahead, bend your elbows, plant your hands, feet grounded, inhale, push into the hands first, bring the crown of your head onto the mat. Then from here, start to push, start to open, start to lift, coming into your full wheel. Hold here, lift up, lift like someone's pulling you from your hips up to the sky. Pull, 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 pull. And then release, bringing your neck down, your head down, ground your arms, and roll vertebra by vertebra very gently all the way down. Beautiful, you guys. Go ahead and give yourself a big hug. Pull those knees into the chest, a quick little counter pose. Well done. Just rock side to side. And if you didn't get up to a full wheel, again, don't worry about it, you guys. It's not about mastering the position. It's just prepping your body to open up so when the time comes, you are ready to do it. So wherever you got to, whatever variation you're able to accomplish today is exactly what you needed to do for your body. So just remember that. All right, now once you're ready, just roll over to one side and then come on up to your seated position. Crossing your feet in front of you. Let's just take one final breath, reaching both arms up. And exhale, bring your hands over to your heart center. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful practice. I hope you feel open in the heart center. I hope you feel amazing. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And don't forget, you can always continue your practice by checking out the video suggested in the description below. And if not, you're ready to continue with your day. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Namaste. Here comes a puppy. Your friend, my friend, she's been with me all morning today. Just follow me around. Me again. I lost you for a second. So where did you go? We just friend? got puppy bombed. There's dogs everywhere. Yeah. You want to sit with me? Oh my goodness. All right. So we have a fourth member for the podcast. Oh my god. Um, so, what's the total? How many dogs do we have at Territorio de Zaguatas? I as of refuse to keep an exact count because then I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I know it's over 2,000. I'm sure Maria Fernanda knows exactly. Um, Marifer, do you have any idea exactly how many dogs there are? Ah, yes, we're down below 1,000. Maria Fernanda seems to think we're on, we've been able to place about 200 dogs because she says we're about 1,800. Oh, oh, okay, that's good. 
So it fluctuates. It, oh, no, it does fluctuate. Yeah. Usually it okay. goes down a bit and then up a huge amount and then right. down a bit and then a big hike up. Mm -hmm. Definitely there's still many more dogs coming in than, mm -hmm. than leaving. But as long as some are finding a home, that's, that's, yeah. we're happy. We're happy. And the others, yeah. if the others can live their life out here and they're happy, mm -hmm. we've done our job then. Do you find that the...